So, so Kiko is uh, drying the food here, put it in the, uh, what is this thing called? Uh, uh, a, a food saver. Food saver. There you go, that's ready for the freezer, right Kiko? Ready for the freezer. Nice. All right, Kiko, so what do we got next? Uh, so this is just something we added. This is how we monitor the, the Vectrons and the battery system on the boat. Yeah, so it's just a quick little, uh, we found that iPad. It was just an old one that I had. We hooked it up to power, and now we just use it strictly to uh, monitor the batteries in the boat. So mm -hmm. it's, it's very cool. So we know we have 76% power right now on the boat. We've got plenty of battery juice. Yeah, because we've been running the boat strictly on uh, the inverter the last couple of days. Yeah. So, and we want to monitor our batteries and stuff like that. We know that this boat is a battery hog. She's energy heavy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro there. You saw Pete doing some vacuum seal and, uh, and also he showed you the iPad that we put in because we've been just killing the projects this week. Yes. Uh, Wednesday videos here are about, uh, what we're, you know, it's keeping you guys up to date. What's going on. And so today, and I try, try and, and tackle a subject, and today we're gonna to talk about autopilot and how important it is, because we went out to the Christmas parade and we found out that uh, we needed it, and it's the first time I've had it fired up in a, a while, actually. So anyway, um, the projects that we've gotten done this week are just tremendous, huh, Chief? Yeah, I mean, the solar is done. Yeah, the solar is 100% done. We found out we don't have enough solar panels. <laughs> This boat is a power hungry pig. She likes her energy. Yeah, and so the, uh, the, the solar, we haven't had a, a drop of sun since we've uh, installed the solar system, yeah. so we really don't know how it's gonna uh, react, but I think we're gonna be fine. And we're gonna have, we knew we were gonna have to run the generator. One of the big projects that I gotta work on this week is uh, fixing, uh, th that's one of the systems they don't have up and running. It's the only system on the, big system on the boat right now that's not up and running. But this week, uh, the big projects we got done, Pete put a new sink in the kitchen. Yeah, and the, uh, the, the galley is completely done, or kitchen, whatever you want to call it. I wouldn't say it's completely done, but well, it's 90%. It's yeah. You're not going to really change anything. Not change anything. It all looks pretty good. I'll show you guys some pictures here of the sink that we installed. It was uh, We did that on Monday. We got the sink on Monday, and then we installed it uh, Monday night, actually. It yeah. went, went pretty quickly. Solar system took me almost the entire week, just waiting for little parts. I still got a couple braces to put on. I actually finished that today, actually. Yeah. And then I'm going to jump into the engine room because that's our next, my bi next big project where I'll probably spend most of this week right here yeah. is in the engine room. And it's just cleaning it up and getting that main generator fired up and starting to clean up my wires. Uh, this week I got all the Vectrons wired in. Right now we have four on here. Uh, and something I didn't know because uh, we, we know we're lacking power. And we want to use our main engines because we have big alternators on these uh, engines. Um, and one of them will be dedicated to charging all of the house batteries and engine batteries. And the other one will be dedicated to charging the Light Pro 4 uh, battery. But we had to buy a 12 volt to 12 volt um, a charge controller. And we bought that from Vectron. That'll be here this week. So. Those are projects that are, are going on right now in Southern States. We're getting ready. I mean, it's a, it's been a long, it, it's a lot of work, isn't it, Chief? Yeah, and it's not over, but I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. But I will tell you this, it is, we are project heavy right now. <laughs> yeah, it's just project after project, and we're just knocking them out one one by one. And it's kind of nice with two of us here, because now when one of us, when, when, you, when you need a hand, you just, hey, Chief, I need your help. He runs over and gives me a hand. So this week, Autopilot, why is it so important in your boat? I get this question a lot uh, because if you're buying a boat to loop or whether you're buying it to cruise on, oh, we're just staying in the ditch uh, in the canals. We don't feel like we need the autopilot. Well, I'll tell you what, I use my autopilot every single time I go out. Uh, it doesn't, I don't care if I'm just going to the pump out basically. I mean, I've used my autopilot uh, a lot. And the reason is, is because you can't outsteer your autopilot, especially on a hydraulic steering boat. Um, and what I mean by that is like, uh, we ran into some fog. I'll show you some video here on the picture in picture here. Uh, we got into, uh, we went and did the Christmas spray, absolutely gorgeous, everything went perfect. Um, but on the way, on the turnaround, coming back, we ran into some dense fog. You couldn't see your hand in front, in front of your face. face. It was impossible. And so then I just, uh, 
it automatically engaged the autopilot because that's what you do in fog and nighttime. You cannot steer it and you got to trust uh, that your autopilot's working correctly and holding you in a state line. But you can see that on your chart plotter and stuff like that. So, and radar. Uh, radar is super important. Um, but a lot of people don't do nighttime and they don't do fog, but once in a while you're going to get caught in it, whether you like it or not. And, you know, just having that autopilot for that alone. But then you have crossings, you have the, uh, you know, even in the canals, like I said, every single time you see me driving a boat, it's more than likely I have the, I have the autopilot engaged and the remote. I've got a little funny story for you, chief. <laughs> <laughs> we bought Southern Estates. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Savage. We had this little remote in the back here, and it was for the autopilot. You know what I did with it? Didn't know what it was, so I threw it oh, away. Threw it in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> I had to order a new one of those because I do want remote steering. I want to be able to just ha have that remote with me and steer the boat. doesn't matter if I'm uh, where I'm at. If I want to walk to the front of the boat and take a picture or whatever, I, I, I can steer the boat. It's not... Autopilot can be very expensive, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, it's probably one of the simplest systems uh, on your boat to install, you know, especially for you uh, DIY guys. I mean, it's just a pump. All it is is a 12 volt pump. And then uh, it's, and it's got a brain box, that's it. I mean, it's that simple. I've installed a few of them now and it's, you just tap into the hydraulic and you can tap in back here at the, the param, you can tap in here at the steering wheel. And then you just put a, a flow line back into the uh, system, and it's about the easiest system in the world to install. You know, so don't be intimidated by it. But it is a super, super important uh, piece. I never really want to go on another delivery without. I've done one now. Yeah, or, or Eric's autopilot was kind of iffy too. It worked, but it was like you had to tap this and hit that and. I don't think we used it. Yeah, we did. Oh, we did. Yeah, we used it, but it was like one of those. It was temperamental. It, it like one, especially on Michigan. Remember, we yeah. we really used it on Lake Michigan. Yeah. Um, and then across the big bodies of water, we used it yeah. uh, almost daily. It was hard to use in the on the Mississippi. Your so much current, yeah. yeah, but for the most part, uh, we use those autopilots consistently and daily, every single day. And a good working autopilot will, it's just, it, it's like having an employee on the boat. I mean, it's just, you can't beat it. Uh, and uh, I would never own a boat without it. Again, a big boat. Uh, I would never own another big boat without it. Uh, it's just, it's that important. It really is. It's an important piece. But again, we do stuff that uh, some people won't do. Like, we'll, we'll, especially the nighttime crossings. I mean, there's a few of them. And then I love going outside, so and I just want to set my autopilot and just go. And a lot of the cruising people, they're, they're like that, you know what I'm saying? And they got to have their autopilot. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the, the, this week's video of the, um, the big 48-foot uh, uh, Alexander. That was just, uh, I, I can't explain to you. The autopilot on that boat was just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was all integrated. All, Chief, all you had to do was touch here and touch here, touch your end point. And then tell the autopilot to do it, and it would just and it would automatically create the route, and then just do it. Ours is not like that. We're just point to point. Yeah. You know, if I set it at 180, it's it's, it's it goes 100. It's, it's it's set at 180. That's how our autopilot works. And it's fine. It does a great job just doing that. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying those videos this week. Uh, once they run out, you're gonna go. Uh, I have a couple of uh, videos that I've never released before. They were a couple of trips me and Bev took this last summer. Uh, if if we can get those in there, if not, uh, it'll be this boat moving because we do plan on once we get the generator fired up, and we get the we've got to go do a, a one or two nighter out here just to check the system. We want to run over to Destin's, throw the anchor out. We've got anchor chain coming. Another big, huge project that we have coming is uh, we we went ahead and bought Starlink. For the boat yeah so i'm really excited about that yeah i don't know how well it's going to work but we'll definitely be out here letting you guys know how it how it does work and stuff like that and then we're uh, getting excited rolanda and uh, eve are getting ready to come on the boat they'll be a big help with us i want you guys to know that you can go into the store you can go to the channel and, and hit the store and then you can buy t-shirts now but we ordered a bunch of merchandise on there just to check it and see if we like it 
And then next week, hopefully, I'm hoping by on our next Wednesday video, we'll have our shirts on, our No Regret uh, t-shirts on. Nice. But you can go to the store now and buy them. Also, uh, Lester, thank you for the super thank you this week. And all you guys, we can't make it without you guys. And we do appreciate it uh, so much. Uh, we really do. And as we get going on here again, we're going to be asking for more and more and more. It's just it's just what we do. It's This is how we make our living to see. And, and everybody knows that. Yeah. Also, if you need any boat uh, advice, please just call me, reach out to me, and we're happy to have you. Anybody that wants on the boat, you know, please reach out for me uh, and and let me know, and we'll we'll make a we'll try and make arrangements to to make sure that that happens. Anybody that wants to uh, have some paid time on the boat, please you know uh, reach out to us. With that. That's what the keys are going to be all about. I think the Bahamas we're we're going to slack off that a little bit. Probably not take any. Uh, too many passengers it's going to be more about family and stuff like that and very yeah. close friends but then uh as we do the keys and stuff like that we're the boats for hire we're for hire uh just like a, a regular business day and then once we get back from the the bahamas we'll be back for, for hire and stuff like that anyway peace out make sure you guys uh hit that like and subscribe and another big thing we can start doing is sharing the videos with on your social media platforms and i think it really helps anyway Peace out. Reverend Chief, live life with no regret, right? Yeah. Yep. See you guys. <laughs> Bye. I'll talk to you guys later.